Hi guys, we all love to receive new things in the post and in this episode we're going to be looking at one such thing that I got in the post recently which is this Asher Racing F28 SimuCube V2 wheel. This wireless version of the wheel has two rotaries courtesy of the seven-way multifunction joysticks aka the funky switch. And whilst the limitations of the SimuCube wireless protocol mean that we don't have as many functions as the USB version, could this still be a good fit for racing in virtual reality? Let's take this for a spin and find out. Let's get to the task of unboxing this wheel. Now the box that it comes in is a very plain affair with barely any markings to shout out about. But if the lack of marketing materials means that you save a little bit of money on this, then I'm all for it. The more important stuff to me is that the wheel itself looks good, is well protected and has the functionality you need. Inside the box, we have some buttons and Asher Racing branded stickers. Lots of foam to protect our rim. Lastly, we have some fixing screws. Inside one of the foam inserts, we have additional magnets to reduce the resistance of the shifters. But for now, I'll leave them as is because at stock, they seem to feel quite good to me. On the back, we can see a stubby aerial for the wireless connection, two magnetic shifters and an on off switch. The shifters have a nice resistance to them and we try them out properly once we're in the rig. Flipping the wheel around, we have 12 push buttons and two seven-way multi-switches. The joysticks have a reasonable feel and the rotary component is a little fiddly, but no different to any others of this like that I've tried. It would be nice to have dedicated rotaries, but this is a reasonable compromise. The wheel has a clean yet simple aesthetic and the rubberized grips look and feel good. Installation is a simple affair, screwing your wheel side quick release to the rim in a 70mm bolt pattern. 12mm M fires are included in the mount package and the quick release, but you won't get a factory fitted spacer like you see on some of the other rims. Now for me, that means that I had to fit an additional 50mm spacer and so the 12mm screws that you're given in this package don't really fit the bill. And that'll mean you'll have to source some screws for yourself. This isn't a huge deal, but it's worth noting because you might have to source these prior to installation, unless you want to hang on to your wheel for a week or so to get these parts in place and your wheel into the rig. Now this is the first wireless wheel I've used with a SimuCube. So it was interesting to get pairing this up. Getting the wheel working with your wheel base is really simple. Switch on the wheel using the switch on the back of the rim. And then scan for it using the SimuCube 2 True Drive software. Then you just add it. In subsequent times that you switch on your wheel, it will be found automatically by the software. It's just this initial installation. You have to look for it first. Once the wheel is added, you will see things like battery level. However, battery level in this case is not a percentage, which I would like to have seen. It is a voltage level. So it's gonna be a little vague to determine when your battery is getting low. And this is perhaps a little too raw for my liking. Now, when using the software, the True Drive software, you will see some lag when you press the buttons and when you're doing things on your wheel when it's wireless. I don't know why that is. And in game, you don't receive any of this lag, but in the driver you do. It's a little odd and a bit disconcerting, but it's fine, trust me. The 285 millimeter grip to grip of this wheel is decidedly less cramped than the Formula V2 rim from Fanatec, which was the last Formula rim that I'd used. And for me personally, this is a good compromise as opposed to the larger rims that you might see, like my GT Pro. 
The rubberized grips feel of a decent size and allow me to comfortably use this wheel for long sessions. They aren't quite as comfortable as my OMP rim, but they offer more grip with gloves and the option of using the wheel without gloves, if I ever feel the need. The buttons are stiff but responsive. I can't imagine accidentally activating them. The paddle shifters are very nice to feel. They lack nice resistance. They're a little bit closer in resistance to the advanced paddle module from Fanatec versus the very light shifters that I had with the GT Pro. For me, this resistance is great for stopping accidental shifts and providing additional magnets to reduce this activation force is a great move from Asher. And I think that people will then be able to get it into the sweet spot for them. Using the multifunction joysticks as rotaries is quite a compromise. As I said before, I'd really like to have seen dedicated separate rotaries. They could even have been on the same control just essentially duplicates of that functionality. But I find the rotaries on the multifunction joysticks quite fiddly. I can use them in VR, but it is a little bit annoying. Talking of VR, I find the buttons very easy to find thanks to the location of the guards. So I can find the guarded switches and move from there to be able to determine where I am on the wheel. I'm not going to pretend that the joysticks the Ashi are using here are a fantastic choice, especially in gloves, but they work reasonably well. And they do make this wheel VR friendly. The Asha Racing F28 SC V2 is a very good wheel. The rubberized grips are a pleasure to use, and I very much like the understated look of the entire unit. The button count is reasonable considering the limitations that you have with the Simicube 2 wireless profile. And if the estimate for the battery of two to three years is accurate, then that will be great and something that you won't have to worry about too often. Buttons feel very responsive. I love how stiff they are. And the shifters, I have to say, are probably some of the best that I've ever used in sim racing. The wheel works well with VR. The joysticks are a compromise and it would have been nice to have dedicated rotaries so you don't have to be a little more careful as you're applying those controls, but it does work in VR. A compromised wheel then, no fault of Asher Racing's, this is more because of them using the Simicube 2 wireless system. If you absolutely need a wireless wheel, then this is a good choice but it does have some limitations. And there are other wheels out there that are compatible with SimuCube, but they're using Bluetooth and offer a wider range of button functionality. I'll be trying to get hold of one of those to review it later in the year. If wireless is completely optional for you, then maybe have a look at Ash's alternative USB wheels, which are very similar, slightly higher in price because of the additional functionality, but they offer the same grip system, the same shifters, and should be of equal quality. So I hope you've enjoyed this video going through Asher Racing's F28 SC V2 Formula Rim. It is a very good wheel, as I said before. Maybe it's a little too compromised but I still enjoyed using it and I'll probably be using it for a little while. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to this channel to see more of this kind of thing. And until next time, guys, goodbye for now. Bye-bye.